OK, I just want to quickly run over how you uh, will get the most out of the data that we're going to be streaming live. Um, so we've got the Freeboard I.O. here, which shows most of the data. Uh, we've been able to hook in the 511 kV uh, counter today, and uh, also you can see the total energy here. The only one that won't be active maybe in the experiment is this spare counter, although we may try and attach a, a hydrogen sensor to this, so uh, something to look for hull breaches potentially. Uh, we've still got this uh, sodium iodide detector temperature um, to put in, uh, which will give us a guide for thermal drift on that sensor. Anyway, um, the bulk of the data you're probably be wanting to be monitoring is uh, this one uh, and this one. And so I'll go through how you can navigate around these. Um, essentially, when you refresh the page uh, or you go to the link, uh, Plotly will build the graph and it'll uh, cache in the data uh, and then as it's streaming, the, the data will push it over first in, first out from this side. As you can see, the pressure here is a little noisy because that's got a very tight scale from 4.2 to 4.4 psi. So we can pull that down and drag it down. And what we're doing there is we are scaling it by using this and dragging it up and down by using the left mouse button up and down. So up and down with the left mouse button, up and down, and then we are zooming in and, oh sorry, <laughs> let's try that, that's zooming the whole graph. Um, we're going over the pressure and zooming in and out by using the scroll wheel here. Okay, so I'm just going to arrange this, so I'm using the scroll wheel, using the scroll wheel on the power and then I'm going to change the temperature here uh, because we don't have the sodium iodide detector, that auto scales. What happened here was the Optris uh, was on a different calibration and we switched the calibration to the correct calibration. Uh, so I want to zoom into this data to see the variant, variation between the active and the null side. And there we go. And if we found a graph we liked because we're comparing, say, I don't know, pressure with the power input, um, we can hit this download plot as a PNG uh, button here, and we get a graph um, which is nice and crisp that we can share and discuss. Uh, if you want to auto scale everything again, if I turn off the Optris here and I just hit auto scale, it auto scales the things you've got selected. I'll turn off the ambient there. So I'm going to dial the pressure down, and I'm going to dial the temperatures down and the power so we can. Drag those around very easily and define correlations. So um, if I want to look at specific uh, uh, particular data, I can click on this one and you can see that's the T active, that's the T null, that's the power, that's the pressure. And if I drop in the Optris, you can see this is the Optris hottest nine average pixels in the field of view. Um, you can also uh, zoom in. But before we do that, I just want you to show you, you can actually, using your scroll wheel here, go by going up and down, uh, you can actually um, scale the timeline by going down onto the time. You see the, the uh, mouse pointer changes to arrows going left and right. Again, it's the scroll wheel up and down. And that allows you to zoom in. And when you're doing that, it specifically chooses a range. You can drag left and right in the timeline. Uh, that chooses a range and so it doesn't add the scrolling data here. If we drag right the way over to the right, there's more data coming in, it will tag on to there. Um, you can actually zoom by um, going across the timeline like so to zoom into a particular area. Or you can actually zoom into um, a square area by click and, and dragging. So you can go really nice and tightly, quickly into some, some of the data and look at some of the fine granularity on a particular parameter. Uh, you want to get back to the start, you can auto scale. Uh, there, hit the auto scale. So if I turn off the pressure, which is noisy because of the zoom level, I'll zoom into there and then go back at auto scale. Same thing for the neutron detector, guide counters, etc. So we've got a six lithium detector, the two. Uh, Six lithium, two helium, three detectors, um, the Geiger counter with the uh, Ludlum LN 
7317 uh, tube on it. And this is our region of interest for the positron uh, electron annihilation. Um, so I can go through those various parameters and make something that's a little bit easier for us to see and, and uh, compare. Uh, dial that up and the region of interest down there. So, and our spare is not there, so we get rid of that. So, very quick uh, overview of how you can scroll and zoom around the data. Again, I can zoom in by using the scroll bar here, or I can say take a range like that by clicking and dragging across. I'm going to auto scale again. Um, I'm going to turn off my helium and lithium and my 5 bit 11 keV and just look at my Geiger, uh, auto scale on my Geiger and maybe zoom into this particular range here so and just you can hit that and make a, an image. So thank you very much for watching. Um, tomorrow I'll take you through some of the uh, equipment and what it looks like and where it is on the bench uh, ready for the experiment and We'll be doing some final finishing up with preparing the uh, uh, cameras for the live stream. See you soon. Bye.